One Piece recently dropped one of its most intense chapters and certainly the best of 2023 so far with Chapter 1079 which saw Oda give focus to red-haired Shanks, a beloved character and a powerful Yonko. While the first part of the chapter was rather quiet, as it focused on York and her plans, the second half proved to be anything but that as it focused on the war right near the shore of Elbaf, the warland. Shanks and Kid met in combat and this was fans' very first look at the red-haired Yonko in a fight. With the destruction of the Kid pirates that followed, now is time for the story to to focus elsewhere and all eyes are on One Piece 1080. Blackbeard Pirates on Egghead Island. One Piece, being in its Egghead Island arc currently, will most certainly throw focus on this island. Nearly every chapter in this arc has had a portion of Egghead Island, even if the main part of the chapter focused elsewhere. The last chapter was focused on Shanks and Kid yet the beginning of the chapter was set on Egghead Island. As such, it goes without saying that Egghead Island will be in focus in the next chapter as well. In One Piece 1079, fans saw one of the ships of Blackbeard pirates pull up on Egghead. While many believe this ship to be carrying the Yonko Blackbeard, that is likely not the case. This is because Blackbeard was recently seen engaging Trafalgar Law in the New World at a completely different location on the same day as Luffy arrived on Egghead Island. It should be physically impossible for him to get to Egghead Island in such a short amount of time. As such, it is highly likely that this ship does not carry Blackbeard but one of his Titanic captains. The most likely person on this ship is going to be none other than the former Admiral of the Marines, Akiji. Kuzan left the Navy two years ago and has, since then, joined Blackbeard. He was recently seen attacking Whole Cake Island, where he captured pudding of the Big Mom pirates and most likely stole the poneglyph rubbings of the crew as well. Now, he is on Egghead Island, and there, he could prevent the tragedy of Ohara from repeating itself. Robin saves Stella. One Piece 1080 could also throw some light on the biggest event on the island itself, which is the capture of Stella. In Chapter 1078, York was revealed to be the traitor and she had captured Stella in an attempt to shoot herself up to the position of Celestial Dragon. While Stella will certainly not be killed by her just now, York is still a big danger to him. The group closest to York currently is that of Nico Robin, Chopper, and Atlas, and together, they are heading towards the Devil Fruit Laboratory. It is possible that Robin and Atlas, along with Chopper, will engage in combat with York in the next chapter of One Piece. Fans could see Atlas get taken down in this combat while Robin and Chopper hold their own against York. It should also be noted that York recently mentioned that she is not good at combat, meaning she must have other precautionary measures to save herself, including summoning one of the Seraphims to defend herself, if need be. Trafalgar Law vs Blackbeard The last chapter of One Piece focused on the combat between Eustace Kid and Yonko, red-haired Shanks. The combat ended rather quickly with Shanks taking down Kid in just a single swing of his sword. The narrator went on to declare Shanks as the winner and Kid Pirates as having been exterminated for good at the end of the chapter. With that in mind, the story could soon turn towards another member of the worst generation who is currently engaging Yonko Blackbeard in combat and that is none other than Trafalgar Law. Law engaged Blackbeard in combat on the ocean and this fight soon moved to a nearby island. The former started using his awakened Devil Fruit abilities right off the bat and injured Blackbeard quite a bit, however, as fans know already, Blackbeard has great endurance and enjoys taking lots of hits in combat. One Piece 1080 could focus on this fight and declare Blackbeard as the winner. The pattern here is rather obvious in the next generation who were victorious in Wano, will certainly be crushed in their respective fights. Law is most likely going to lose to Blackbeard, just as Kid lost to Shanks. The focus of the story could then shift to Egghead Island, where the war between the Straw Hat Pirates and the Navy will finally commence. The era is rapidly shifting in the world of One Piece and, for the fans, witnessing this is certainly going to be a treat. One Piece, the Egghead Battle Royale, explained. One Piece is currently in its Egghead Island arc and fans have thoroughly enjoyed the run that the story has gone on after the conclusion of Wano. Egghead Island has pleasantly surprised the fans as none of them expected One Piece to jump so high up in intensity, given that Wano, a four-year-long arc, just concluded. That said, One Piece is now in its final saga, which means that everything that happens from here onwards is going to be significant in one way or another. Egghead Island is no exception and, despite not having been considered to be a major arc at first, it is shaping up to be exactly that in more ways than one could imagine. Currently, Egghead Island looks like it is turning into a battleground for the greatest incident ever recorded in the history of One Piece. Who is on Egghead Island right now? The Egghead Island arc started with Luffy, one of the four emperors of the sea, arriving closer to the island. Before he entered the belt of the island, Luffy encountered one of the members of the worst generation, Jewelry Bonnie, who was also set on getting to this island, for different reasons. Together, they entered the island and soon, fans are introduced to the many bodies of Dr. Vegapunk. Much to the surprise of the fans, Dr. Vegapunk did not have just one body but six, excluding the main body, called Stella. 
fans quickly got accustomed to the six bodies of Dr. Vegapunk, however, soon after, it was revealed that the CP0 were heading towards Egghead Island as well. This group of the CP0 unit was made up of Rob Lucci, Kaku, and Stussy, all of which fans are already aware of. Along with all these characters, there are also four Seraphim on the island right now. These are S-Snake, S-Hawk, S-Bear, and S-Shark, who are the Seraphim version of Boa Hancock, Dracul Mihawk, Bartholomew Kuma, and Jinbei respectively. Already, Egghead Island seems to have way too many strong characters, however, added to their military might work the MK3 Pacifista, created by Dr. Vegapunk. The threat that Egghead faces. The events of Egghead Island were triggered long before the arc even began. In fact, they likely began before Luffy even emerged from his timeskip training. Nearly three months ago, one of Dr. Vegapunk's satellite bodies contacted the higher-ups in the world government and made it clear to them that a study was being conducted on the Poneglyphs on Egghead Island. Subsequently, the government sent cipher pole units and eventually, it was discovered that Vegapunk had truly betrayed them. To eradicate him, the world government then started to form a big force. They decided to eradicate Dr. Vegapunk and Egghead Island completely and for this mission, they deployed the CP0 along with a Seraphim, S-Bear. Furthermore, to destroy the island, the world government called into action one of the admirals, Kazaru, who currently has 100 ships at his back. This was done because Egghead Island possesses great military strength, thanks to Dr. Vegapunk. In the past, Ohara was destroyed in a similar fashion, however, they did not have the combat forces that Egghead has currently. Furthermore, the world government also sent a member of the Five Elders along with Kazaru to handle the situation. This makes Egghead Island a unique arc, as for the very first time, one of the Five Elders is making a move and all the fans are itching to see what becomes of the situation on the island. The emergence of the Blackbeard Pirates. If all that was not enough, One Piece 1079 saw yet another massive threat head towards Egghead Island and this was none other than Yonko Blackbeard. To be more precise, fans only saw a ship of the Yonko Blackbeard heading towards the island. Taking into consideration the fact that Blackbeard himself is currently engaging Trafalgar Law in combat somewhere else in the New World, he cannot be present at Egghead Island as well. It appears that Blackbeard has sent a proxy unit to Egghead in order to attain something that he desperately craves. This person is likely going to be Kuzan, a former admiral of the navy, who fans also know as Akiji. Kuzan's arrival on Egghead Island means that another major player is set to join the Great Egghead Incident that is going to take place on this island in one day's time. Currently, there is a Yonko in Luffy, his nine commanders, four Seraphims, three CP0 members, an army of MK3 Pacifista, an admiral, a member of the Gorosei, and a potential former admiral all on the island. Egghead Island is going to become home to the greatest war seen in the story so far. A great incident is going to take place on this island, as already teased by Oda, and it is going to shake the entire world in one piece to its very core. Fans do not know just yet what this great incident is. And, with Egghead becoming grounds for a battle royale, it wouldn't be a surprise to see some major characters dying. That's a wrap for this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back with more amazing videos very soon. <laughs>